My name is Andy Set, Senior Implementation Manager here at CK12, and I want to first start off by thanking everybody for joining us today. We're really excited here at CK12. You know, just earlier this year, we partnered with a wonderful social learning platform, one of the leading social learning platforms, Edmodo, just this year to really talk about how we can deliver our high quality math and science content through their social learning platform. Now, we're going to spend most of our time digging into those apps today. And so before we dig into that, I wanted to really check first, is Renee Scott on the call? Um, she's a math teacher from Austin High School out in Sugarland, Texas. And something that I'm excited about is to you know share some of her feedback and some of her responses. So real quick, is Renee on the call with us? Yes. You know, share with us why you think this launch of the CK12 apps is exciting to you. It's exciting to me because I am an Edmodo user and I am a CK12 user. And when you put them both together, you get a very powerful resource for all educators. Uh, and using CK12, I've, I've used it already a little bit before and uh, since the launch. And so when you use it together, you're able to assist your students in a powerful way. And so they can get their assignments, they can work their assignments, and they can you can get immediate feedback as to their understanding. And one thing about CK12, it covers all modalities. There's a read, there's a video, there's projects, et cetera. Thank you for that, Renee. Um, you know, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Just a couple more questions, if you don't mind. So over the past month, and you stated this, you know, it's been out since the release a month ago. You know, have you or your students started to explore the apps, and is there anything worth sharing in your experience? Yes, yes. Immediately when I heard about it, I was so excited because I knew that I've used CK12 and I've wanted the students to use it more. But, you know, with the logins and things of that nature, but with Edmodo, you don't have to. If they're in Edmodo, they don't have to worry about a password and username and all of that. It's just already there. And so I did have an assignment for my students, and they went to um, the – it's on the Edmodo. It says assignment. And so it's quick, it's quick and easy. You just click on it, you see the CK12 thing come up, and I'm sure they're going to go through the whole demonstration, but as a, you know, as a, the shortened summary is once they complete the test, it is immediately put into your um, into your Edmodo app, and not only is it graded, you're able to see exactly what questions your students missed. Excellent. And then finally, how are you planning to use this in the coming school year? Yes, I'm very excited about using it this coming school year. I want to um, submit a lot of assignments through um, through Edmodo and do the reading reading portion, as along with the quiz portion, and it help with me with my lesson planning because each chapter is a top. I'm a math teacher, so I may want to teach about equations at the beginning. And within the CK12 uh, textbook, there is all the different components of solving equations and reading in videos, and it just makes everything come alive. So that I feel like in today's education that students need not only just one modality. And one thing great that CK12 has above all others is different modalities. So if someone needs flashcards, you have access to get that within the platform. If someone needs a video, if someone just needs to read how to do the work. So it's all in all a great resource that I will be using in in uploading assignments through Edmodo that are CK12 type assignments from CK12. So it's like a hand, it's like a glove and a hand. You know, they they fit together perfectly. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Now at this time, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the demo portion. What I've gone ahead and done is quickly logged in as a teacher account. Hopefully you're seeing this on the right-hand side where my mouse is circling. You've got a number of features here. If this is your first time getting access to the CK12 apps in Edmodo, the first place you're going to want to go is the Edmodo store. And that's access through the store icon where my mouse is circling on the top right. Or another nifty thing you can do is just simply type in CK and you should be able to see either our community page that we have available, 
And in some cases, if we scroll down, you'll see our app. So if you were to search it, you'll, you'll see that we have our science app. We also have a math app as well. Now luckily, I've gone ahead and installed both applications in my app launcher. And they're completely free to do so. I'm going to go into a bit of both. So I'll start first with math. And I went ahead as a teacher and clicked on the math app. It went ahead and launched in an internal window. So you see that we didn't have to open another window to get access to it. It's all pretty seamless. If we want to close out of this app, we've got a top right X button that closes us out of the CK12 app and brings us right back where we left off in Edmodo. Now at this screen here, we have the access of all the mathematics content that CK12 has built over the past seven years and provided for free, always free to everybody. Now the teacher can go ahead and select the subject level that they would like, and from there, be able to peek into the different topics available. And within each topic are a number of concepts that are now available at your choosing to assign to students. So I can scroll down and say, ah, I like decimals. Let's see what's there. There are 32 concepts. I want to see those listed out for me. So as a teacher, you have the flexibility to scroll through and view all of the 32 concepts. You've likely noticed on the right-hand side there's an assign button for you. That's something that if you're ready to pull the trigger and assign this particular concept to your students, you're able to do so. Now, if you wanted to preview one of these, such as the decimal rounding and division, you as a teacher can quickly click on the title itself. And what we're going to do is we're going to load all of those details for you. So first and foremost, you're going to see across this banner the practice element. So you, you can provide or assign practice to students. And underneath, you've got a few different links available, buckets, for the different modalities that CK12 provides. And this is what Renee said earlier about the videos, the readings and activity, sometimes flashcards, sometimes additional practice, real world applications, cases, projects, just so many different modalities that we provide at CK12. So when you're ready to, and you think you're happy with this particular concept, you can click on the assign button found on the top right. And just as easy as that, you can now assign this to your Edmodo group. So I have one already set up, and now I just have to select the due date. So I feel that maybe by Monday of next week is a good time frame to select. So I'll go ahead and hit the 28th. And now all I have to do to finish this process is click on Send Assignment to Edmodo. In just a few seconds, you'll get a confirmation message. It says, now your assignment has been posted to Edmodo. Now at this stage, I might decide to assign other concepts. So I might decide to go back to that screen, view the different subjects or topics or concepts themselves, and select Assign wherever appropriate. But if I'm happy with what I've assigned so far, I'm going to go ahead and click that top right X button to go ahead and log out, close out, I should say, of the CK12 practice app and now get into my Edmodo screen as a teacher. Now, as students complete the CK12 practice assignments, they will automatically feed the result into your Edmodo progress. I'd like to show you the classroom 215 where I have some student data already filled out just to show you what it looks like. And then we'll see the exact mechanics that a student would do to enter or enter Edmodo, take the assignment you've assigned them, complete it, and turn it in. So I've got a couple of students here. And you'll notice that the student under the rocks, this is a science concept, has completed the assignment and turned it in. And they received a score of 46 over 100. Now, within Edmodo, you're able to, as you always have been, to adjust the score. Now, I've only got a couple here, but I felt that two was enough to show you how that would look as students begin to turn it in. 
Okay, perfect. Well, I appreciate that everything is going smoothly. I appreciate that you're all an attentive audience, and hopefully no questions is kind of a good thing. That means there's probably no confusion. We've actually reserved some time at the end of our hour for any questions as well. So if you do have a question, either send it through chat or let me know. And again, we have some time at the end for questions. If you'll look on the screen with me, we're now logged in as a student. You'll notice that in that first page for the student, it lists their latest posts, the things that either they've interacted, whatever activity, or the teacher's activity towards the students. So we've got a couple here. We've got rocks, we've got mineral identification. These are concepts the teacher reviewed and decided to assign, as you saw me demonstrate earlier, to the class. So let me go into the rocks assignment as a student and just simply by clicking that title in that post, it's going to automatically launch the CK12 practice app. And now, the nice thing, and I love to point this out to people, is that students are able to go in and take that practice as many times as they wish. And you'll see here that a student, in fact, did. They tried it once with not such a great result, and then tried it a second time and had an improvement. And what we're seeing on this screen is that the student can, if they choose, dive right into the practice itself by clicking Start. But directly underneath, in the student view, they can learn or refresh anything that they may have learned in the past by accessing any of the modalities attached and related to the Emoto Practice app. So now let's go ahead and click on Start so I can show you what this looks like when they're ready to engage in the assignment itself and all the different tools that are available. So they're presented with the first question, and typically in the screen pr previous to this, we'll tell them how many questions they're about to receive. In this setting, there are 15. There's a bar that says 0 over 15 at the top, and it's all in white. As students progress, that bar will begin to fill. So the first question is asked to the student. You'll notice that in the middle bottom, they can click on skip to move to another question and come back to it later. They can also access videos that we have linked within these questions. Because right now at this stage, it's practice. If they were, if they were to earlier enter challenge mode, those videos, that link would not be available. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in rather quickly because I'd like to show you what the end result is. So as students are presented with questions, whether they know them or not know them, they're gonna move through. And you'll notice that that progress bar at the top center of our screen is moving through and getting filled with a blue-green color. If a student were to answer questions correctly each and every time and consecutively, that number, that 2x, can increase to 3x, 4x, 5x. So we call those streaks. And that's to just you know, let you know as the teacher and let the student know um, that, hey, you're doing really well. You're understanding the concept. You're, a you're answering the questions correct each and every time. So as the student moves through, they'll increase their streak count. And the minute they get something right, you'll notice that that streak disappears. And that's OK, because it's good that I got a handful or four of them right. Now I'm struggling a little bit. I didn't get that one right earlier. I got the last question correct. So the student's going to continue to progress through. And again, if they feel that they're not sure about a particular question, they can easily use the skip button and return back to it, one that they left unanswered, or use the videos to their advantage if they're in practice mode. Again, challenge mode removes that video's access. So go ahead and wrap up the number of questions here. I'm getting close to the very end. And if there are science educators out there, I apologize because you're like, oh, that's not the right answer. And, I, and I'm sure you're right, and I'm completely going through this quickly. Um, but I got the last one right, surprisingly. So now what happens at the end? They finish all those questions, and they're going to be given a report. If this is their first attempt, 
you'll notice that under mineral identification, under the concept title, they see a visual report on the far left, giving them a, per a percentage and just filling in this little circular visual, letting them know how much in their first attempt that they understand correctly. And then on the right hand side, if they have more than one attempt as they log more than one attempt, it's going to show their progress and highlight in that yellow dotted line which was the best. If I scroll down now as a student, I can see how many were correct out of all questions asked. Under the streak, I can see how many that I get consecutively. Under skipped, even using that skip button, we record. So that way a student will know, wow, how many times did I use the skip button? And the teacher can see this level of detail as well. And then the time overall on this particular concept. So at which point the student could try again, or if they want to view all of their answers, whether the ones that were incorrect, correct, or all, they have that ability to. We hope that students are using this to kind of understand where their common mistakes are or where some of their understanding is still needing to be filled. So we hope that all this level of detail is helpful to a student. We certainly hear from our teachers that this is helpful to them. One more thing about the student. They now have the ability to turn in the assignment, and this is what's going to send that information into Edmodo. It's going to feed the result into Edmodo. Now I'm going to click Turn In to show you a quick example. You'll notice that the window that pops up is telling the student, hey, you can try again and get a higher score. You don't have to turn this in now. And that's probably in their best interest because at 46.6%, I could probably do better. So rather than click on the Turn In Assignment, which you can only do once, per assignment, the student would rather click on try again if they're ready to at that moment, or click on the X box so that they don't turn it in accidentally. We are aware that as students turn in particular assignments, if they are wanting to try it again, a second, third, or, or future attempt, that they're unable to turn in. And right now, the solution is for a teacher to be made aware of that, the educator to know that, and then make that adjustment through that manual entry model that we showed you so the teacher can revise the score if they wanted to. We're aware of that and we're going to explore different ways to make that solution a little bit more elegant, but that's what we have currently. There's really just one last thing I want to show you, and that's the progress. So I want to show you that this is what a teacher's report looks like. When they click on that sort of, you know, heart or beat or pulse image, that icon, it takes them to their progress. And right now you'll see that for the student associated to this class, room 215, they've completed a few, actually just two of the five CK12 assignments that have been assigned to them. If you go to ck12.org and you click on that help button on that top right, or you can just type in help.ck12.org, you notice that we've got a pretty healthy section called CK12 Math and Science Practice Apps for Edmodo. And here we have a number of topics that we've created to really help teachers and students to make that transition, make that use of our app seamless and efficient. Any other questions, Laura? Okay, well, you know, uh, she's shaking her head and that's always a good sign because we ended just a couple minutes past the hour. I want to thank everybody. Um, we really appreciate your time today. We appreciate your feedback, your interaction. We're going to follow up with you in a couple of days over email. And again, my contact info is posted on the screen here. If you want to get in touch with me directly, feel free to do so. But with that said, thank you again. Have a wonderful day, wonderful evening. And if you need anything from us, let us know. Thanks and bye-bye.